The first recruiting class of the Brent Venables era is in the books and with some key additions today, a top 10 class signed, sealed and delivered for OU. Venables going heavy on defense with the last minute additions. Three defensive ends R. Mason Thomas out of Florida and Grayson Halton and Cavante Henry out of California. They all come aboard today and they like to rush the passer. And all 21 players in this class ranked number eight in the country, number two in the Big 12 behind Texas. Also making it official today, Booker T. Washington's Gentry Williams. Verbally committed to OU back in October after Lincoln Riley's move to USC. Took a minute to consider all of his options, but Gentry staying home in Oklahoma. He says representing his hometown means a lot. It, it means a, a true amount to me, you know, to be able to step into those shoes that, you know, certain guys, are, you know, Pat Fields or um, Dominique Alexander, you know, just to name a few who, who have done it, you know, and I'm the next guy up. You know, it's definitely, you know, a high standard. But, you know, something I'm grateful to be able to be a part of and just ready to put on for Tulsa in line with And he just wanted to meet everybody. He wanted to hear the vision, you know, what we had for him, both um, defensively, relationally. I think that um, his allegiance and his loyalty to the University of Oklahoma uh, were known. OSU, meanwhile, signing maybe the most impressive class of the Mike Gundy era. 20 players total, three additions to that class today. Receiver Stephon Johnson comes from DeSoto, Texas, had been verbally committed to Oregon. Big junior college transfer out of Utah is coming aboard as well. And a local product, Berry Hill offensive lineman Davis Dotson, 6'6", 290 pounds, some impressive athleticism. OSU signing nine players from the state of Oklahoma, most ever in the Gundy era. TU football, meanwhile, signing three players, bringing the total for the class of 2022 to 15. Four receivers, three offensive linemen as the Golden Hurricane restocks at those positions. Three local kids in this class, Holland Hall's Nunu Campbell, Tahlequah's Eli McWilliams. They came on board back in December. Beg safety Kyron Grayson added to the class this week. You know, just an extremely good athlete. A guy that plays both sides of the ball, but, you know, I think he had like eight interceptions this senior year. A bunch of those he returned for touchdowns. You know, just his quickness. We're excited about adding him and, and what he brings to our secondary. So many other green country kids signing with Division II schools or smaller schools today. Congrats to each and every one of them, including Lincoln Christian quarterback Max Brown going to Florida.